One thing that turns off potential buyers from buying broiler chicken at a good price for that matter is lack of uniformity. Many broiler farmers have and are still suffering losses due to poor growth uniformity. The question is what is the solution? That's why I am here today. In today's video, I will give you 5 easy ways to approach and solve this problem for good and bring back uniform growth in your broiler chicken. Before the end of this video, you are going to have an idea of how to handle the problem of having some birds that are bigger than others. But before we get into this amazing topic, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, if you find value in this video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Another major question may be, what causes the lack of uniformity in the growth of the broilers, whereas they are eating the same feeds in the same environment, feeding on the same water, same routine practices, but you find that some broilers will end up growing faster than others. What could be the cause of this problem? You see, an even growth starts right from the start. That is why the first approach is by considering these two key things during the brooding period. And number one is about the heating. Lack of even heating in the brooder will make those chicks that cannot access the heat to be cold. And you know, chicks cannot be able to control the, their body temperatures. And this coldness will bring about low feed intake. And hence, uh, this will cause delayed growth. On the other hand, the chicks that will be able to access the heat, they will be able to keep themselves warm. And they will eat, of course, eat more and drink more. And this will cause uh, some chicks to uh, have a better growth than others. The way to solve this problem is to make sure that the thermometer is centrally placed so that it can be able to record you, in the average temperature of the whole brooder. Another thing is that if the brooder is big, provide more heaters and thermometers and place them strategically so that the heat can be evenly distributed throughout the brooder. Uh, the second thing in the brooding period is about lighting. If the light does not reach some of the parts of the brooder, then those chicks that will be at the farthest ends where there is the darkness, they won't see the food properly and they will have to wait for the morning so that they can be able to eat. Uh, well, those birds that are able to be exposed uh, to the enough light, they will be able to see the feeds properly and eat. And if this happens over the days, then you will find that some chicks will be eating more than others and this will make some chicks grow more than others and this can bring about a lack of uniformity in growth. The solution to this is that you must have enough light bulbs evenly distributed throughout the brooder. Make sure that the light bulbs are hanging at the right distance from the ground. Uh, they are usually hanged at uh, about one meter from the ground and this helps the chicks to see the feed properly. And the other major cause of lack of uniformity in broiler growth uh, is the poor house orientation. Many farmers put a lot of efforts in building a good poultry house, but you find that uh, the orientation is not in the right manner. The correct way to orient a house of chicken, whether the layers of the broilers or the indigenous, is in a east to west direction and not the north to south. Because when the, the sun rises from the east and sets from the west, so if the chicken house is aligned at the east to west direction, the, the rays of the sun will not be able to penetrate in the poultry house. And what will happen is that the sun will just pass overhead the poultry house without affecting the chicken. But when the house is oriented in a, in a north to south direction, the rays of the sun will be able to penetrate into the chicken coops. And what will happen is that the drinkers that will be hit by the sunlight, uh, the water will become warm and the chicken will not be able to feed on that water. And what happens is that you'll see some of the chickens trying to go to the cooler side. And those chickens that will be exposed to the sun will suffer due to heat stress and this will decrease the feed intake, which can affect the growth of some broilers while those in the cooler parts are feeding and drinking properly. And this will cause an even growth. 
growth. So make sure that when you're building uh, the poultry house, it is oriented in an east to west direction. And the other way to solve this problem of lack of uniformity in growth is sorting. There are two types of sorting. Number one is the sorting by sex and the other one is sorting by weight. Sorting by sex is by separating the males from the females at around three weeks because the males are stronger and they grow faster than the females. Well, now sorting by weight is sorting by the big ones. You know, the bigger broilers are set apart from the weaker broilers. And what this does is that this lowers competition for feed and, and water therefore helping to achieve uniform growth because the males will be able to com compete with the feral males and females will be able to, com to compete with the, f the feral females where on the other side the bigger broilers will be able to compete with the bigger broilers and these weaker birds will be able to compete with the feral weaker birds and what happens is that you reduce that competition and this helps to bring uniformity in the growth the other thing that we are going to, to look out for when it comes to lack of uniform growth in broilers is the diseases. You know, when a disease affects your flock, most probably it will not affect all the birds. It will start by affecting maybe the weaker birds or some or a portion of the birds in your flock. And what happens is that the birds that have been affected won't eat as much and they won't drink as much water because the feed intake and the digestibility and all the feed efficiency will be decreased. And uh, what happens is that the birds that are not affected will continue eating therefore the birds that will be affected will be will have a suppressed growth so what you are supposed to do is that you should isolate these birds that have been, been infected and you treat them as quick as possible so that they can be able to catch up with the other birds otherwise if you leave them for some time you'll find that first they will spread the disease and second they will be left behind they will not be able to feed as the other stronger ones and this will cause a lack of uniformity the other thing is about the inadequate feeds. For any reason, if you feed fewer feeds, what happens is that some of the birds will have access to the feeds and they will eat all the feed and some of the birds will not be able to eat. And if this happens over a long period, some of the birds will have eaten more than others and this will lead to lack of uniformity. So what you should look into is that therefore make sure that the feed is enough. So if you feed the correct amount of feeds, what happens is that all the birds will be able to eat and these will contribute to a uniform growth in your broiler chicken. Make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know uh, about the feeding blackjack powder to boost laying and prevent coccidiosis in your chickens.